Christopher Morrell is going to lead it off for the Cubs this afternoon. Change up and he gets some swinging one down. Yeah that's a very good sequence of pitches as he was able to throw the strike inside and that really sets up that change up away. Two on and one out. And that one hit in the air out towards left center cutting across of Merrifield to make the play. And Bellinger retired two down. It's Kevin Biggio, Danny Jansen and Dalton Varsho stepping up. Hits it sharply and he is going to beat it out. Tyone didn't get over in time and when Wisdom couldn't catch it cleanly the Cubs were out of options. Good to see Danny Jansen back in the starting lineup. He has been hit so often lately and always in the same general spot like there. How about that? Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Obviously they try to pitch him inside and once again that ball comes inside and hits Danny. First and second for Toronto. Here's Dalton Varsho. And he hits it well. Deep right field. And it is gone. A long three run homer for Dalton Varsho. Number 14 on the season. Well, you asked for a double buck. Will you settle for a homer? With Merrifield up for the second time and a fly ball to center in the first inning. And he's got a base hit right off the end of the bat. And he loops it into right for a single. He's running. Got a great jump and there's not even a throw. He got a heck of a jump. He took an extra step on his lead and then he took off before Tyone ever lifted his left foot. And the throw gets into left field and Merrifield's going to come in to score. He was running from second on the three two. And now wait a minute. The home plate umpire Nate Tomlinson has made a ruling that has brought John Schneider out of the dugout. It was ball four to belt and Merrifield's walking all the way back to second. Was there inadvertent contact between the catcher and the umpire and if that is the case. Right there. If that is deemed to be the case the ball is dead and the runner has to go back to the last base he occupied. To the right arm, in, yeah. In his mask, yeah. no question about it. He in his mask. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. at the plate. Base hit into left. Merrifield around third, and now he'll come in to score to make it four to two. And George Springer. He shoots one into right for a base hit. Belt's going to come in to score. Guerrero around the third, and it's five to two. As the Blue Jays come up in the bottom of the fourth, beginning with Whit Merrifield. And he's got another two strike base hit his second of the game. Brandon Belt leans in. Belt hits one well to deep right off the wall. Merrifield on his way to third. It'll be a long single for Belt. And the Blue Chase have runners on the corners with nobody out. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. coming up. And a base hit into left. Merrifield's going to jog home belt to second and it is six to two. So it'll be up to Dalton Varsho who's already had one very big moment in this game. Line drive center field base hit. Belt in to score Guerrero in behind him and it's eight to two. These runners are now at first and third. And a base hit in the left field for Espinal will bring home Biggio with the ninth run of the ball game. Up to second goes Varsho and let's see if Paul DeYoung can get in on the action. He is 0 for 4 today. That'll help. Base hit into right. And Varsho's in to score. Espinal around to third. And boy, does Paul DeYoung have to be feeling a bit better right now. 10 to 4, and here comes Whit Merrifield for the sixth time. He is 3 for 5. And now he hits one well towards the left field corner, and it's off the wall. Espinal will score. DeYoung to third. It's an RBI double for Merrifield. Two away in the ninth. And that is the ball game. 101 to finish it.